evergreen design trend that I have seen applied to so many different products that is making people tens of thousands of dollars a month. And the amazing part about it is it can be applied to pretty much every single niche out there and every single product. So in today's video, we're gonna go over exactly what this design is, how we can create it ourselves, how we can leverage AI to help us create this even quicker and how we can automate all the sales for these. And if you're used to my channel, you might be wondering, why is my background so different? Right now I'm working in Portugal for a while, so welcome to my makeshift studio. And this is what I'm talking about. It's often a funny definition about a certain niche. So this one here, using my Everbe stats, I can see has sold over 7,000 times in the last nine months and is bringing in an estimated revenue of $10,000 a month. This is the same design trend with a different niche on a different product, was listed three months ago and already has 221 sales. This sister definition shirt has sold over a thousand times. Here's the same sister design, but doing really well as a bestseller on a mug. Here's another one applied to the reading niche that is also a bestseller. I have even created a few of these and sold them and have gotten bestsellers using a similar design like this. So let's go create one ourselves. And the easiest way is to create this is to start with a template. And if you have Canva, all you have to do is open Canva and in the search bar, we're just going to type in definition and this is what comes up. So we can already see tons in here that pretty much simulate exactly what we were seeing on Etsy. So we're just gonna pick one and work with that. So I wanted to be a little bit different from all the other ones out there. So I decided to go with this template and let's say we're making a teacher definition shirt. So for this one here, what I've done is I've actually decided maybe they can customize what shows up in the search. So maybe they type in the teacher name, Miss Jacobs, and then I have teacher down here. But now what I need to do is I need to come up with a funny description. Well, actually, I'm not that punny. So I'm going to need some extra help to come up with some of these definitions. So I'm gonna use the help of AI. So coming on over to ChatGPT, I have asked it to write me 10 funny dictionary description ideas for a teacher. And now we can scroll through here and pick two that we might think are funny. And if we scroll down, these all look a little bit long. So I just asked it to make them shorter so I can fit maybe two of these within my design. And here are some that we got. A caffeine fueled, question answering superhero, surviving on apples and gratitude. And and from here, we can pick two that we think are funny. We can change them up a little bit. Or if we didn't like what this gave us, we can re-roll it to have it create 10 new options. We can write extra prompts, like make them funnier, make them punnier until you are happy with the results that you get. So this is now what I have here. So I have my dictionary and I've gone in and added my two descriptions here. I've also changed this here to she was the best teacher ever. And you can also put in similar. So I put in some similar similar type of words like superhero, mentor, or empower. And this is something you can ask ChatGPT to help you with as well if you can't think of these three words. And now from here, I'm going to save this design by going to share, download. I'm going to hide the background. I'm going to make sure that this file size is pretty large. And I'm going to save this as a PNG file. And now we're going to use Printify as a supplier so that we can pick a product and they will actually print our design on their product whenever we get a sale on say Etsy, on Shopify, any shop that you have integrated with Printify. So if we take a look at their catalog here, they have literally so many different products that we are able to use. We have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, phone cases. Taking a look here, we have accessories, men's clothes, women's clothes. We can do candles, mugs. And that's why I really, really like this design because the possibilities in terms of niches and products are endless. So for this one, I'm gonna try a tote bag because I haven't seen too many of these applied to tote bags. And when I see a gap in the market, that's what I like to go for. And if you watch my videos, I seem to really like tote bags. So coming into Printify, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scroll down. This is a tote bag that I really like to print with. It is the cotton canvas tote bag, Liberty Bags OAD, because it's super cheap to print. But honestly, people love tote bags. I am in Canada and for us, we are not allowed to use plastic bags anymore, usually when you go to the grocery store. So I have a good collection of my tote bags. Scrolling down, I'm going to hit start designing. And then I'm going to add that design that we just saved from Canva. So here we've brought it in. And if we want to see exactly how this is going to look like, you can just open up your previews and you can see what this is going to look like when it is printed. So now we can see what this is going to look like and it's going to look similar to this. We are going to make some better mock-ups ourselves later, but this will give you a general idea. So I'm happy with this and I'm going to hit 
save product. And now I'm going to go through all of this and I'm going to fill out my product description, my title and everything that I'm going to need in my Etsy store. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit publish. What's going to happen when this is actually published to your store? A new listing is actually going to show up in your Etsy listings. And now you can go into it and add all of your photos. You're able to change your pricing, your tags, description, whatever you weren't able to change in Printify, you're able to change on the Etsy side as well. But something you might be wondering is I put the word Miss Jacobs in there. What happens if someone's going to make an order of this? It's going to say Miss Jacobs. And I'm going to actually fix this so that we can automate the personalization side of this. To do this type of automation, you are going to need a plugin, which is hellocustom.io. You are able to do customization more manually, but this is the way if you want to fully automate all of your personalized orders. So we're actually going to open this up. Then we're going to go to templates and we're going to hit add new template. And it's going to ask you to upload PNG or upload PDF. But because we actually want to do customization, we're going to go back to Canva and grab a PDF version of that file. Then coming back, I'm going to select PDF and upload that file I had just saved. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the part of this design, which is customizable. So the only part we have, which is customizable for this is the Miss Jacobs. I'm going to select that. And if you uploaded the PDF, it will let you select the text because it's able to pull the text elements. And then under the side here, under tags, I'm going to change this to name. And that is telling them that this name is customizable and it's the part that is going to change for this design between order to order. One thing you do need to note is for the customization part of this, it does need to be a font that is loaded into Hello Custom here and you can bring in new fonts, but for here, I'm just going to select one of the ones that they do have, which are similar. Scrolling down, let's just select this one here. Looks extremely similar. You can go through these. They have most Canva fonts. And then we're going to go into product variations. And what you're going to do is because this was now published to your Etsy, you're going to be able to find that tote bag listing. And now that I've given it a second, it's actually loaded into my Etsy. I can see it come up here, the cotton canvas tote bag. I'm going to select this. And what this is doing is this is linking this back to my Etsy store and my Printify. So Hello Custom knows if I get an Etsy order that I need to customize it, which then needs to be sent to Printify. So this is really just making the linking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then I'm going to make sure all the variations, if you're doing a t-shirt or sweatshirt that have multiple sizes in different colors, you're going to have a bunch of variations, but we just have one tote bag here. So there's just one variant. I'm going to make sure the SKU matches in Printify, and then I'm going to hit update. And then in the top corner, we're going to hit publish as active. So now every single time that we get the tote bag order, for this listing, it is actually going to show up in Hello Custom. And then coming back into Hello Custom, you are going to go into your order approvals and you're going to see that new design, but that personalized part is going to be replaced with the personalization option from Etsy. But we need to make sure we have personalization turned on in our Etsy listing before. So to make sure that this works, come back to Etsy and go into that new listing that we just created and scrolling down, you're going to make sure under here, this one is hard to find. Here we go. Personalization. We're going to turn this on and then we're going to instruct the person to put whatever we want them to type in that box. So I'm going to put enter the name of your teacher. I like to also put an example, example, Miss Jones. And now when they type in Miss Peterson, Miss Johnson, what's going to happen is that is now going to be showing up in that text box. You just remember have to go back into Hello Custom and approve it. And now it's going to be automatically printed with Printify. And then if you need to make brand new mockups, which I highly suggest, I really like stylized mockups. I think they do your design so much better than if you were just to use the Printify mockups that they already supplied you. So my favorite way is to just go into Etsy itself and search up my product plus the word mockup. Cups. So tote bag mock-up, or you can get really specific and we are selling the Liberty bags tote bag mock-up so that we're getting the exact product we're selling. And then you can go through here and download any of the ones that you like here. And then you can upload these to Canva and then bring your design on top, save this as a JPEG file, and then use this as your Etsy listing photo. You could have a whole Etsy shop just around creating different definition designs. Because again, these can be on mugs, sweatshirts, 
tote bags. I have seen these sell across a plethora of different products. And if one that is called Shit Show Supervisor has over 1,500 reviews and sold over 7,000 times, there are tons of other niches out there that you can do that will probably get way more sales than that. I know way more teachers than I do supervisors. I know way more nurses than I do supervisors. And again, you can have every single niche of this design. You can have a tote bag store just around different definitions. And so people know to come to you and you have a very, very specific niche in your store.